Right, we're recording. We're on the uh, A1079 at the moment, Beverly Bypass. Lay by onto the main carriageway. I made it up to York this morning. It's a, a regular destination for me. The weather's not bad today. We've got some uh, got some thunderstorms forecast for later on. Just uh, just cloud burst really. So I'm expecting a shower or two when they happen they're probably going to be quite heavy right at the moment it's uh, 20 to 12 uh, not expecting any any bad weather until about 4 maybe 5 o'clock so we should be alright so we're recording the A1070 now I'm not going to do all of it I've started it going because once I get onto the main part I don't really want to be stopping as such. But I'm going to show you one of the uh, the more interesting parts of that road anyway. That's the uh, the Burton Burton Summit or other. <laughs> I've forgotten the name. Well, anyway, there's a roundabout up here. Uh, we go through a beautiful little village that dates back, well, I don't know, maybe a thousand years or so. Uh, very, very old, beautiful buildings. Uh, lovely little pub on there called the Altisidora, named after a, a racehorse. Uh, and then we'll be going uh, up over the walls and then we'll drop into Market Week and then I'll stop stop recording in Market Week because it, it gets a bit uh, a bit boring after that. Alright, this is Killingwold's Grave Roundabout. Got Beverly off to the right, Walkington to the left and York right ahead. And if we take the uh, turn off that the, the white wagon has just taken, that takes us up to Malton, up into the heart of, into the heart of Yorkshire, and up into the moors. And look at see, we've got uh, York on the, on the distance turn there, 28 miles. The place I'm actually going is a little bit further than York, a place called Tadcaster, and that's 35 miles from here. Got to keep your wits about you around here. There are, there are speed cameras on a regular basis, and lots of farm traffic. As you can see, we've got a tractor off to the left. And this is the village of Bishop Burton. They well, knew I'd remember it. What a lovely village this is! Absolutely picturesque. Very, very busy place though. Got the main A1079 runs right through the middle of it. As you can see there, there's the War Memorial banded up on. That's a regular, a regular sighting in the East Yorkshire villages. And that's the Altisidora. That's an old uh, coaching pub going back, going back 150, 200 years ago. Stagecoaches used to run up and down, down here. Uh, and you could pull in there, stay with your horses, stay overnight. Um, we've got the sand for the national speed limit now, so we can open it up a little bit, pull away. 
Now we'll clear with the village. Just behind all these trees on the right, the Bishop Burke Agricultural College. That's a world class, uh, world class college for teaching those that are interested in getting into market gardening and uh, all sorts of horticultural and agricultural uh, things. A lot of the uh, the, the lads who, whose fathers are, are farmers go there. It's a little bit windy today, I don't know whether, whether the mic's picking that up. I hope not. This is actually just to the west of Hull. Uh, coming on to what's known as the Yorkshire Walls now. Uh, some rolling hills, they're not, they're not massive. They're not massive hills, but they're not nice enough. Once you get up onto the roads, they get quite a bit steeper. Uh, all these are, uh, that's the chalk deposits. This area has got quite a lot of uh, mines dating back, dating back over the last 100, 200 years where they've been uh, blasting, blasting chalk out of the earth. Uh, there are still one or two uh, chalk mines left in the area, but it's not a, not a massive industry now. One thing that always sticks in my mind when, when I get out here is how dangerous this road is at times. Come winter time it's absolutely treacherous and when it snows and we get ice on here there's, there, there are always lots of accidents. Even during the summer time uh, people are careless speeding on here and mischievous corners and end up, end up running off the road. I lost a memory of my family somewhere around here, uh, going back going back to about 20 years. I won't go into too much detail, but uh, suffice, suffice to say it's, uh, it hit the family quite hard. Uh, one of my cousins have died on this road. As you can see, the middle of summer is quite pleasant out here. No need to speed. Doing about 50, 55 at the moment. Have your needle stroke on the right, even though the uh, your speed is say 60. But ne never tally up with the GPS. I tend to believe the GPS more than more than the speed. GPS is telling me that Market Wheaton is uh, three miles ahead. As you can see to the right we've got, uh, can't see it too well, see to the right we've got uh, a wind farm over there, that's a relatively new thing. They're popping up, popping up all over the country now. They're a bit of a, a, bit of a stain on the landscape. And you say we all need power. If them things don't go up, then we'll be, be looking at building more nuclear stations. So I'm, I'm split between the two. Nuclear power is reasonably safe, very clean. The problem is, is it only lasts so long and then you're left with decommissioning the places and all the clean up and everything after that so 
I don't know how, I don't know what, but what we're going to do. But as a nation, and certainly the Western world, we're using more and more power as every year goes by with all the gadgets that we've got on TVs, computers, and everything else. It's the price you've got to pay. For some reason it was slowing down. It's a 60 mile an hour speed limit on here, we're now down to about 35 mile an hour. I don't know what these uh, people are playing at. I've got to say it's a little bit hazy today. I was hoping it would clear up a bit. The, the view ahead is absolutely superb. I'm looking out right over the, uh, the Vale of York. On a clear day you can see you can see the three Air Valley power stations, and you can see, you can just about see York. Uh, you're looking out of a of a market week, Hockleyton, Stamford Bridge. But I can't see it so well today because of the hair. Never mind. I'll have to uh, I'll have to come up here again and. Use my still camera, put a couple of stills into a video. Looks like the hold up is a big, uh, big wagon in front of us. Normally you could fly down here at, at, at near enough 60. with some uh, scrap cars on it. And wide load there with a reporter cabin on it. Probably going out to Hull. This is Wheaton Hill that we're coming down now. Got the roundabout at the bottom of here. We turn right going to uh, Market Wheaton Village. I'll have a look through my cable and then I'll turn the camera off and we'll do some, uh, some more recording a bit later. Got plenty of batteries with me today but don't want to be don't want to be recording all day and boring you. Market Wheaton, historic market town, home of Giant Bradley. He was a legendary figure in this area, going back 150, 200 years ago. He was a man that, that grew to uh, a great height. I think he was, he was recorded as being seven foot. And the uh, the celebrate the celebrate giant Bradley every year in this area. They have. They have a parade and various things they do. It's actually quite an ancient village, but the part we're going through at the moment is is all the new the new redevelopments. This is Southgate. The, uh, there's the mall, as the Americans call it, in Tesco's. So that's coming to the shopping area now. I will let that lady out. Might to be a considerate driver. Turn left into the town centre. And there's the Harper's Fish and Chip Job. Red Lion Pub. As you can see, the buildings are starting to, to look quite a bit older now. Uh, 
There's some of the local school children. Plenty of pubs around here. There's another one here on the left, the Half Moon. Another pub there on the right, the Griffin. I think that's a statue of uh, Giant Bradley. And I just passed a, a fast food place and it smelled wonderful. <laughs> Going slow through the through, through the village, it's a 30 mile an hour speed limit. I'll take it easy. I'll just pull in here and we'll switch off the camera for now. I'll speak to you a bit later.